name, please? Perpetua Michelle. In what part of Haiti are you guys from again? Petit Guav. So, what are you two each other? Sisters! <laughs> Bye. What's their name? Miriam, Woodson, Lista, Perpetua, David. Who might be kids would you say takes or is a lot like you? Who takes after you? Yes, if you school and women, yes, many of them. Kija. How? Kija. She's talking loud. She talks a lot. Yeah. How would you describe yourself? Wow. Do we have enough time? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you take after more? My mother. I am my mom to the T. As much as I hate it, yes, I am my mother's child. I am just as spicy, aggressive. <laughs> we we have selective hearing. <laughs> We hear what we want, we do what we want, don't care how it affects at certain time or point. We get our cross out and we have the last word. What is it? How many grandkids do you have? I have two. You one of the Michelle's? Yeah. Descendants? Yeah. Who is them, and who is your grandparents? Veronique and Valerie Michelle. Comedians. Comedians. My grandparents are comedians. They're too funny. Your grandfather? My grandfather. He is very nonchalant about everything, but it's always funny. It's in a funny way. He's a comedian. Grandpa is Grandpa is the the glue. Grandpa's the glue of the family. He holds everybody together. And your grandma? Grandma. I don't talk to her very much when I think about it. She doesn't like my hair or or my other features. Why does she like your hair? I think I'm a vaca bro. <laughs> I think I look like a bum. <laughs> my grandmother is very caring. I think she's the most caring person in the world. And she's crazy sometimes but she is so funny like she's a comedian every time I talk to her she always had me laughing what are some things that your mom does that your grandmother does talk a lot they can talk forever and ever and ever like it never stops. and they love to argue both of them love to argue they never think they're wrong they can be they there's gonna be one person right and it has to be them and if it's not their way it's the highway Tell me something about your, your aunt, Nista. Nista's like a mom. Nista is like, you know how you have those cool aunts and then there's Nista. Nista's cool, she tries to be cool, but she's very like old school. <laughs> she has an old soul, I can tell, just by things she's into, things she does. Like, and in the way she she talks and speaks, the future, what she speaks about. I mean, she's very like she has an old fashioned spirit. Like she's very, she gives me she gives me not I don't want to say grandma vibes, but it's like when she talks and when she the things that she does, the things that she's into, you can tell that she was raised by somebody that you know she has that like older generation mentality. Your uncle Woodson. Woodson, a creative. Whether it's music, whether it's writing, whether it's producing, directing, anything creative. He he's open minded. He always going to take a risk, or to push people further than him. Woodson is funny. He likes to pick on everybody. When I was younger, his McDonald's or Burger King, which one? <laughs> like 
and he loved Pepsi. Is it Pepsi or Cola? I don't know. One of the two. Describe your your uncle David. Dope. That's the first word that comes to mind when I think of David. Dope. Open-minded. He's always chasing. There's always something more, something bigger that he gotta get to. David is like my brother that I never had, older brother that I never had. He's like just, I feel like David and most of my aunts and uncles are like kind of how I want to be when I'm older. It's like they just have so much ambition and they motivate me and I just have like a really supportive family. And Pep? A uh, free spirit. See, that's just all fun. That's all I can think about. <laughs> What's some of the stories that you heard about your grandfather? Um, that, boy, that boy came from a dojo. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I heard um, he used to be a smoker, and then grandma threatened to leave him, and he quit cold turkey. Never picked up another. Never, never picked. It, never picked it up again. I need a woman like that. <laughs> What's been some of the funniest things your grandfather's done that you've witnessed? Well, at Woodson's wedding in Jamaica, I have a video of my granddad getting up at the rehearsal dinner and dancing, but he's doing karate, really. He's just doing karate moves. And it was hilarious. What's some funny moments that that has transpired at Grandma's house? Oh, it's probably not funny for you, but um, when we were younger, uh, Pepe and Lamar, Lamar used to be attached to Pepe's hip. So um, Pepe was making spaghetti, and she had the stove on, and she told Lamar, "Do not touch the stove." And she had him sitting on the counter, and of course, was the first thing he did: put his hand down right on the stove, and he had this big old bubble on his hand. So now me, Abby, and Pepe running around the house going crazy. He's like, ah, ah, ah. Here goes Lamar. And then this is in the room. And she has like, and this is, she, since she was, um, she was, she does fashion design. So she had like sewing needles and stuff. So she went and she got his hand and she was sitting in the room and she literally went to go pop it. And here go me, Abby, and Pepe just going crazy running around the house. I think that's when I stopped liking spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Lamar says you think he's a vagabond. <laughs> what you said? <laughs> you think Lamar is a vagabond? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I don't see him often. And I don't like the way he do his hair and the way his face looking. So he's got vagabond tendencies. Yeah, yeah. He gives off vagabond vibes. <laughs> he's a vagabond. <laughs> and what about Taina? Taina, she's okay. Is Ebony your favorite? Yeah, I don't say that, but. <laughs> I'm not your favorite? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who is but your favorite? For now. <laughs> oh, wow. For now, she's my favorite. <laughs> is there any stories that you want to tell us about your siblings? Yeah, my sister Abby. I got this one scar right here. We were fighting. I don't remember what we was fighting, but I think I just kept messing with her because they had this room and they didn't have a door. It was like a curtain. So she was in there. I'll just push the curtain, keep pushing the curtain. She'd be like, "Stop!" I wouldn't. I just keep messing with her. I was probably like six years old. She came out. Pushed me, pushed her back. My other sister Tiny was sitting in like a, a rolling chair and it had like armrests, but we used to peel the, peel the uh, foam off the armrest so it was just metal. So she pushed me and I went straight into it. Her whole demeanor changed so quick. It was She was so mad to, oh my god, are you okay? Nah, bro, don't come by me now. <laughs> Lamar? Hmm. Lamar drives me crazy. Sometimes I don't know when to be his big sister or his mom. He's just, but I love him though. He's, that's my only brother. 
and yeah he gets on my nerves and we fight a lot but he's like the best brother I can have. Your youngest sister, describe her. Tina. Yes. That girl got a mouth on her. <laughs> she is so slick. <laughs> but um, I would say Taina is kind of like grandma. She's an empath. She takes everyone's problems onto herself. And a lot of people see Taina as like a tough person. But she's really a big baby too. Taina is so sweet and so caring. She's loving when she wants to be. If she wants to love you, she wants to love you. When she doesn't want you near her, she doesn't want you near her. For the future generations to come, what would, advice would you have for them? Do what you want. Don't let anybody else tell you that you can't do something. If you want something, go for it. You're never gonna get anywhere in life if you don't take no risks. So just because something seems like, you know, the idea is too far-fetched, that's exactly the reason why you should go for it. Because you're, you, if you don't think big, what are you going to do? It's like you can't have small dreams. The bigger your dreams, the more they scare you, the more that you should be inclined to go after them.